I just have to share something to everybody about some recent things that I've been seeing in my personal life, in society, in the world, and it's going to involve certain relationship dynamics. Most of the time when people have any type of relationship dynamic, it's normally some type of link. Most of the time this is the link you see. I call it the dependent link. It's when two people or a person or an entity are linked, dependent, where it's codependent. Whatever. This thing doesn't work right, so I'm better. I'm just going to explain it. So, this is a codependent link. Whether it's a relationship, whether it's a job organization, job or organization, or anything like that. These two people or two entities are only together because they have certain things that they need from each other. Which is a horrible, horrible way to start. Because eventually, one of these two links, I mean, one of these two entities are going to start to see that they are codependent. Once something happens where somebody's not getting something met emotionally, financially, physically, anything like that, another toxic trait begins to form. Say this person right here is not being completely uh, in tune with themselves, not able to, to give, or they just aren't being aware of what this particular person or entity needs. And this person ends up doing something that exchanges or pulls from the energy, the financial, emotional, physical energy and takes it somewhere else. This person is going to, right here, this person right here is going to feel like a victim, okay? And then this person becomes the perp, or the perp, uh, the perpetrator, or the perp for short. The victim is then going to feel hurt and they're going to feel like there's retribution, they, but because they're codependent, the victim isn't going to go anywhere. But what the victim will do is find what is called a hero. We want to find what is called a hero. Yeah, this is way better. I guess this marker was my hero right now. <laughs> so they're going to find a hero. So what the victim is going to do, because they feel like they have the right to, even though they were already codependent in the first place, so it's the perpetrator, so we definitely not letting the perpetrator off the hook. The victim is going to take some of this energy right here and start giving it to the hero. Now, the perp, in whatever state he or she is in, is going to feel energy being drawn to this particular hero archetype. So this hero could be uh, a friend uh, who has certain attributes and traits that the perp might not have. Uh, the hero could also be like a clergy person. The hero could be a politician. If you feel like the perp is uh, something of your current political party, the hero can represent all those things. But the perp starts to feel, starts to feel that energy going towards that particular person. So let's just use relationships. The perp can feel like, like their, their, their spouse or boyfriend or girlfriend going towards the hero or giving energy towards the hero. And once the perp becomes awareness of it, the perp subconsciously or indirectly gives the hero energy as well. This is a very, very common relationship issue, dynamic, problem issue. And it is called triangulation. Because that's exactly what it is. You have a victim, 
who is feeling some type of uh, emotional distress or looking for some type of uh, validation or bias or some type of support. And sometimes it's not, not even sometimes, a lot of times it's not even done to get back at the perp. It's just to relieve some of the pain that they feel. Now what begins to happen is there is a, a toxic exchange of energy between these three. And most of the time a hero is codependent as well because if the hero was not codependent, then most likely they would have never linked up and joined this triangulation. Now, when it comes to the perp, once they start to feel that, it's one of two things that can happen. The perp can either try to come at the hero, or the perp can try to go at the victim, but if they're still codependent, the perp isn't going to leave. The victim feels satisfied. And currently, as you can see, it's a right triangle. So now the victim has went from only dealing with 45 degrees of the share of energy. The hero, or the side piece, or the, the, the friend that always got something to say, all the nims, you know, your cousin them, your auntie them, your mom and them and stuff, they only share 45 degrees of the quote unquote blame game. But the perp is dealing with a whopping 90 degrees in the same dynamic. Dang. Crazy thing is that the victim wants to stay in this because now it's satisfied. The victim is still able to get the energy from the perpetrator. It still gets all the extraness from the hero. So really the victim is getting this complete share. So while the hero is only getting 45 degrees or whatever for the time being, the victim is getting all of this energy back to them. So rightfully so, the victim, not rightfully so, but obviously the victim wants to stay the victim. The crazy thing about triangulation is that now the perp who originally had created the environment can easily feel like the victim. The victim is going to be like, well, you created this environment, so you still have to be the perp. The hero eventually, though, since they are codependent, are going to want to get something in exchange for this 45 degree energy. Whether it's male or female, spouse or side person or anything like that. Most of the time a hero, because for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction in the law of exchanges, the hero is going to want something physically. Ah, let me spell that, physically emotionally or monetarily. The past is going on times, man. If, if uh, the victim is like a, a, a husband who felt like his wife isn't cheap, uh, treating him right, and he found a female hero that's gonna validate him. She's gonna want time and energy, emotional exchange. And if the hero most of the time is a male who is uh, helping a, a, a wife in distress whose husband already cheating on her or something like that, he's most likely gonna want something physical in exchange. That's just the way it works. And since they are all in, inextricably linked within this toxic, you know, right triangle or triangulation, if this hero, he or she does not receive any of those things, they too will start to feel like the victim. So then it goes from a right, a right triangle between the victim, perp, and hero. To an even more toxic equilateral triangle. Well now everybody is at 60 degrees because the victim still wants to be the victim. They don't want to take personal responsibility for any aspect of, their, of what is their responsibility. 
the perp originally is like, well, I am doing better. I'm trying to do like, I'm trying to show atonement, forgiveness and all this other stuff. And the hero, although they feel frustrated, they still draw to the victim at, at, with, through some type of energy connection. So then this vicious cycle just keeps happening and keeps happening and keeps happening. It happens all the time. You know what all three of these people need? The perp, the victim, and the hero? They need therapy. Yes, they need therapy. The therapist would hold any one of them accountable for this toxic triangulation and at the same time will still be open and understanding and compassionate, which is what the victim originally needed in the first place. So if you go to therapy, right? You go to therapy. You're going to be held accountable, but you're still going to get that self-love. It's going to help create self-love and it's still going to give you validation throughout your hurt process. But if you already went to a hero, therapy is going to be minimal at best, unless you get rid of the hero and just stay this. And then you get rid of the perp and victim archetypes and dynamic. Because the real issue, whether something happened to you, and if something did happen to you, you feel like you're a victim, and nobody apologized to you for it, I apologize for it. Okay? I'm sorry. Life happens. We all go through some things. That's just that's just a part of life. But if you go to therapy, to a licensed therapist or a licensed clinical social worker, somebody who is not involved in any of your daily life and affairs, that's not going to want to be a hero to where when they exchange their energy and imprint their bias, you all get codependently linked in some BS. They will help you become what you really want to become. What you really want to become is sovereign, okay? When you become sovereign, that means you are at the place where you are self-aware and you are expanding because you have, that's a horrible circle, forgive me. You are self-aware, I'll try to make it a little bit better. You are self-aware and the focus is on you. Just you. How you react, what you do in life, how you respond to these outside stimulus is on you. You do not need an outside hero. You can be your own hero. Now, once you go to therapy, you go to some type of uh, religious system if you're uh, spiritually inclined or if you're an atheist and you just focus on developing your mind. Guess what happens when you become aware of yourself? Once you become aware of yourself, you see your strengths, you see your weaknesses, you learn how to subdue your passions, and you create something called boundaries. Yep, you create boundaries. So now that you have a self-awareness and you have expanded yourself, you have improved yourself and you have learned how to mitigate your risks and your weaknesses, now you have boundaries. Also, you then get a foundation. So once you get a foundation and you have boundaries, you can't help but feel completely whole. So now you know, went from a crappy triangle or just a little dot that's invariably and easily vulnerable and linked up with the most toxic of uh, triangulation, you have now become a protective, sovereign entity. So you can still give 
You can still, you can still help others, but you are taking care of yourself. And then these other dots that were around, once they see this, they're gonna be like, what the crap? They won't be confused. Because this is a new you, and you look nothing like these people anymore. Okay? That's just what it is. And then some of them might be angry. Okay? They might be all types of angry or they feel like upset, especially if they were part of that triangulation. They'd be like, wait a minute, you can't just change like that. You're always supposed to be the victim. You're always supposed to be the perp. You're always supposed to be the hero. No. You are, supposed to, you are supposed to be sovereign, okay? The funny thing is, eventually, once you are sovereign, all these little dots that were affecting you so profoundly, they cannot penetrate. And you can take that any way you want to take it. They cannot penetrate you because you have protected yourself and your power and your sovereignty. And guess what else they're going to do? You are going to be elevated. All these little dots that were once affecting you are now coming to you for help. Or other people who are not involved, they see that, that there's some incompleteness and they come to you for help. And that's okay. Because you are able to give as much as you are. You, you have self-awareness of how much you can give and how much you, you, you can't give. So, this is the hardest part. Self-care, self-improvement, therapy, subduing your passions, understanding boundaries. All these things are the hardest part. But you know something magically happens. You leave this low level of thinking where all these other little dots are at right here and you are elevated to a higher vibration. So guess what that's gonna allow you to do? It's gonna feel lonely at times, but what's eventually going to happen is another sovereign, this is horrible the way I'm drawing it, but another sovereign entity is going to be on that same level as you. And the things that you were wanting from this toxic triangulation with the victim, the hero, and the perp, and this toxic, unrealistic, uh, lying to each other, codependent dynamic, the things that you thought that you was going to get from this victim, perp, hero, now is what's going to happen once you elevate and you become sovereign. Because you're, you're helping people, this personal organization or relationship is also helping people. And then you two see each other and you wink up. But it's way more abundant. It's not just a little codependent dot giving very little energy, and y'all just hanging on for dear life. No, no, no. This is a huge exchange, an interdependent exchange, or what I would call a sovereign, excuse my hand, right? Sovereign link. That's what you want to get to. You want to get to a sovereign link where two sovereign entities who don't quote unquote need, but because they're on the same vibrational frequency and level are able to attract each other to each other's lives. They now see that they are able to enhance one another. Not need, but enhance one another out of desire, mutual desire to want to enhance one another. This is where you want to go to. You want to be a sovereign link that's helping others. If we have more sovereign links helping others, we would have a better community. We would have better families. We would have uh, better 
uh, working organizations. We would have all that. But too many of us are still down here being codependent, trying to be the victim, and then end up turning to the perp or end up turning to the hero and it's going over and over and over again. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of being in triangulation. I'm tired of being in triangulation in relationships. I'm tired of being in triangulation at work. I'm tired of being one of these three characters, okay? I have to move myself from that, what we call an army Bravo Sierra. And I am sovereign. And I'm gonna sit in this sovereignty until, probably until I pass away. Whether or not I find a sovereign link, it's okay. But I know if once you stay in a certain vibrational frequency long enough, once you stay in a certain sovereignty long enough, it has to happen. Where in your in your work, your career, your relationship life, there's going to be a sovereign link. So my question to you today: Do you want to be a hero, a perpetrator, or a victim? Do you want to remain those three, or do you want to become sovereign? Thank you.